Hey guys, it's me again, this time with part 2 of TechAdam.com's review of the 15-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, this time around, we're going to focus a little bit more on specific software. Um, mostly the iLife suite that comes in pre-installed with the computer, and also third-party software that I've downloaded in the past couple days that I've found useful. Um, we've already gone over Finder, which isn't exactly an application. Dashboard I touched on in part one as well. Um, Firefox I didn't really go into that much, so let's check out that first. Um, pretty much just a basic web browser. It's uh, really good for the extensions are good. Has um, just a bunch of good features that are pretty much in most every web browser. Mostly the extensions are probably what will set it apart from Safari. So we'll go to Firefox. Oops. Firefox.com. Oops. And I'll show you how to get some extensions. So just go to the add ons. Well, first I'll show you. If you want to download it, pretty easy. Just click that and download it. Once you have it downloaded, you can go to add ons. View some recommended add ons, and it's got a few, quite a few. Um, then, of course, you can search, um, and basically that's it. You can get some themes for it. Um, yeah, I won't, I don't really go into that that much. It's pretty simple, just a web browser, but. Nonetheless, I like it a little bit more than Safari, so I would highly recommend downloading it if you get a Mac. Um, iTunes, show you some of that. Uh, cover flow is pretty cool, especially with the trackpad. You can't really see me doing this, but I'll put two fingers on the trackpad and just kind of glide it, which that's going through all my music. I can go to... I can go here, and then. I got birds in my ears and a devil on my shoulder and a phone to the other and I can't. Play a song. Go right here. It'll automatically change the of Turn that down, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Got a bunch of playlists. I'm sure most people have used iTunes, whether you have a Windows computer or a Mac computer. So I'll quit out of here. And we'll move on. Uh, Adium, really cool instant messaging client. Uh, another recommended program of mine. Um, supports a bunch of different protocols, I think is what they call them. Uh, I'll go to their website which is adiumx.com Adium. already have it here um, AM, MSN, Jabber, Yahoo, etc all these and I'll give you a little demo on it it's pretty straightforward again I just said hello to myself and, oh uh, yeah, another cool feature is if you go into Firefox and you find a cool page, want to send it to a friend, instead of having to go into the address bar, cop copying the URL and pasting it to your friend, you can just click this Firefox icon right here. I think it might work with Safari too, I think it depends on what your default browser is set to. So I can just click here. And it'll add iGoogle, which is my home page. And I can just press enter and it will send it. Um that's pretty much it for Adium. Pretty straightforward again. Simple program, yet useful one. Photoshop. Most people I wouldn't guess are that into graphic design. But uh definitely a cool program if you are into it. TextMate text editor that I use for making Ruby on Rails websites 
Um, if you're into Ruby on Rails, again, I would highly recommend that. Locomotive, basically, again, for Rails, don't need to really know about that. I show you, I'd recommend this if you want to create screencasts. That's actually what I'm using right now. I'll kind of show you the window. Um, basically, you just choose from a bunch of different things, set a bunch of different profiles, and that's pretty much it for that. And I'll hide that. Um, iMovie HD, part of the iLife suite, so I guess it's loading my great movie right now, which this was of an I show you demo that I did earlier. Um, has a bunch of themes, I haven't really played with them that much, but my guess is that it's pretty simple to do. Um... You can add media like your own music to it from GarageBand or I'm sure just music files from iTunes. Um, editing, you got a bunch of cool ways to add titles. Like we can just do a center title. I did this when I was just playing with it. It's got everything right here showing. You just click the add button to add and then in the timeline you can just pretty much drag stuff around. Uh, transitions, again, just transitions, show you a little demo, there's one I did, uh, video effects, we got some fairy dust here, not exactly sure what fairy dust is, but, uh, we'll try a different one, flash, lens flare, I guess here's the lens flare over here, um, audio effects, this is kind of cool. Uh, one thing I did a while ago was change the tone of my voice, which is just kind of funny to hear. <laughs> Have some fun with it. And that's pretty much it for iMovie. We'll quit out of that. Don't need to save. Uh, GarageBand. Uh, definitely a cool program, but I'm not that great with it. Uh, I had a hard time at first figuring out how to input my notes or whatever you call them. Uh, you can change the instrument right here by double clicking and it will bring slide over a, I don't know what you want to call it, panel to choose your instrument. So we'll go with Dance Kit. And right here is where I usually got stuck in the Apple Store. I was like, how do I play tunes or whatever you call it so you need to go to musical typing and just click that and you'll get this so turn the volume up a little bit a little bit more and instead of clicking on it I can just go and if I want to record it I think I can just press the space bar. So actually, I'm not sure. I think that just means play actually. If I want to record it, I guess I need to click this. So I'll click that. Oops, move it up here for you to see. As you can see I have no musical talent whatsoever. I'll click that to stop recording. Click that to stop playing, move it to the beginning, and we'll listen to my tune for a second. Alright, here we go. There we go, some good stuff right there. Think I should get in contact with a record label, maybe they might sign me, who knows. Um iCal, pretty simple, just a calendar app application. Uh, photo booth, pretty cool if you have the eyesight or your built in eyesight. Hey guys, what's up? I'll show you an effect the dent effect. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'll take a picture. And that'll drop down my picture right here. And if I want to delete it, like let's say it's a bad picture like this one is, just click the X 
and that's pretty much it for that.